they hit it while filming Everybody Loves Raymond. Everybody Loves Raymond was a CBS comedy that aired for nine seasons and 210 episodes. It's remembered warmly to this day for the unusual family dynamic, the witty writing, and the idea that some individuals may not want to live directly next to their parents. Have you ever wanted to learn more about this show? We have lots of intriguing facts and information that will surprise you even if you own the box sets. You'll learn a lot about everything from the performers to the storyline to the production. Real Life Inspiration Any excellent show incorporates real life facts and Everybody Loves Raymond was no exception. Each episode has a small touch of genuine life with many of the tales or details based on events that have occurred to the crew, staff or even the performers. Monica Horan, for example, portrayed Amy, Ray's brother, Robert's fiance, and ultimately wife. Horan is the real wife of the show creator, Philip Rosenthal, and the disagreements Amy and Robert experienced were true ones that Monica and Philip had in their own marriage. That may have helped give the moments more emotional weight. Changing some names. While most of the show is based on true events, many details have been kept out or modified. Ray used his first name, his disputes, and many real-life experiences on the program, but when his family joined the cast, certain things had to alter. Ray had twins in the show, much as in real life, and their names were supposed to be Matthew and Gregory. The program concluded that this wasn't the greatest idea, so the false twins were renamed Michael and Jeffrey. Minor tweaks were all that were required. Brad's Big Problem Brad Garrett portrays Raymond's big brother, Robert, a cop who still lives across the street from Raymond and his parents. During his early days on the program, Brad Garrett was honest about his alcoholism, identifying himself as a high-functioning alcoholic. He claims it became a defensive mechanism for things in his life that were out of control. He started to seek assistance towards the conclusion of the first season, realizing how damaging it was to his health and future. This occurred in 1997, and he seemed to be still effective in his struggle against his demons. Lacking Faith Everybody Loves Raymond was Ray Romano's major first effort in the entertainment industry, and there were many questions about his ability to keep the program running. Brad Garrett was one of the individuals who lacked faith. He discussed some of the program's hazards, such as Romano sending the show falling and taking the rest of the cast with him. Thankfully, such worries were unfounded. Instead, the program has become one of the most recognized and popular of its type and has boosted Garrett's career significantly. The Paycheck Issue Ray Romano was obviously the primary actor, but the rest of the family was equally significant. However, there was still a huge compensation disparity that almost ended the program when it was exposed. By the conclusion of the series, Romano was earning over $2 million per episode. Everyone else made about $160,000 per episode. It wasn't a modest salary, but it was less than a tenth of Romano's. Garrett orchestrated a two-week cast strike in 2003 in order to raise additional funds via syndication rights. The others each received an additional $20 million. Is that really the name? The name of this program is now well known across the globe, although it was initially supposed to be something else. What was it that was different? We have no idea. Everybody Loves Raymond was the show's placeholder title for the premiere episode based on a snide comment made by Romano's actual policeman brother once, but the name stayed. They had planned to modify it to something else, but everyone appeared to appreciate the name, and the unpleasant remarks Romano had anticipated never came. And now, one of the most well-known phrases and titles from the 90s. Dear Old Dad Patricia Heaton plays Ray's nagging wife, Deborah, but she's not the only Heaton on the program. Actually, Chuck Heaton was slipped into a sentence by the program. He's a well-known sports writer for the Cleveland Plain Dealer, where he's worked for more than 50 years. Ray's career as a sports writer in the program is likewise highly successful. In one episode, Deb reveals that Ray's main rival is most likely Chuck Heaton, 
It was a rare Easter egg, but mentioning your actual father while playing a fictional role on TV must have been odd. Not a fan. While the program had many regular viewers and followers throughout the globe, Ray's real-life brother Rich was not one of them. Rich, like his TV counterpart, was a policeman throughout the course of the program, and many people appeared to assume it was a documentary or something similar. Rich was often mocked by his co-workers for the things that Robert, who wasn't the finest policeman in the program, did. As a consequence, Rich was dissatisfied with the program in general, but thankfully things calmed down a bit. Holding back too much Patricia Heaton's IMDb profile has a vast number of honors and titles, but there's one more. She was busy as a parent and an actor while on Everybody Loves Raymond, and she required an assistant. Jennifer Lee, her former assistant, sued her in 2009 for unpaid compensation for their time working together. Heaton, according to Lee, forced her to work extra without paying her, and Heaton owed her over $8,000. Heaton hasn't spoken about the case, but it's not looking good. A near spin-off on the program, Robert, Raymond's brother, was one of the funniest characters. The figure had a particular place in the hearts of many spectators. The creators appeared to appreciate him as well, which is why they began considering a spin-off with the character as the main character. The original intention was for Robert to go to Philadelphia and work as a gym instructor. The sitcom was presented to CBS by Phil Rosenthal, but the contract fell through. Who knows whether the program might have succeeded? Spin-offs have a bad track record, but we'll never know. Nobody ever knew. Almost every long-running live-action program encounters a certain issue at some point. The actresses have a baby. Some series can throw in apparent changes like the characters being pregnant at the same time, but that wasn't an option for Everybody Loves Raymond. While Patricia Heaton desired a family, Deborah, a mother of three, most likely would not. As a result, when Heaton became pregnant again, they had to conceal it with enormous props, baggy costumes, cunning angles, and other techniques. Nobody noticed her tummy had grown, yet those who were searching for it could tell. Second Best Maggie Wheeler portrays Linda, a friend of the Barones, although it wasn't her dream part. When she came for audition, it was for the role of Deborah, the leading woman. She was almost cast, but Patricia Heaton beat her by an inch. What was the reason she didn't receive it? Wheeler was, and we quote, too ethnic for the part. They loved Wheeler, so they gave her a lesser role that still allowed her to shine a little. Despite her little part, she made an impression. Just like a real family While the show's disputes were fabricated, there were plenty of genuine ones on set as well. Patricia Heaton and Peter Boyle, in particular, were on opposing political sides and were vociferous about their convictions. This resulted in countless intense discussions on site, which typically made the rest of the cast very uncomfortable. Despite everything, love triumphed, and their disagreement didn't prevent them from being friends and producing a great show. After learning of Boyle's passing, the whole cast, including Heaton, showed their love and admiration for him. Still making us laugh. Brad Garrett wasn't going to give up his comedy career after the show that catapulted him to popularity even higher. He won an Emmy for his work on the TV program Gleason, and he made us all laugh even more on Till Death. He's also gained a lot of work as the voice of notable projects including Ratatouille, Tangled, and Finding Nemo. His marriage to his first wife dissolved, but he swiftly remarried Isabel Kiela whom he had met in an art gallery in Boston. Hiding the Issue Brad Garrett proposed to his girlfriend, Jill Divin, in 1998 on the set of Everybody Loves Raymond. As is so often the case in Hollywood, the couple's relationship soured and they divorced in 2005. In 2007, they announced their divorce. Garrett, on the other hand, didn't tell anybody on the program about his problems at home until this became public information essentially putting on a funny face. The story broke owing to paparazzi in 2006, yet Garrett was able to keep it hidden for so long, even from others on the set with him.